Hello friends, Hi. Alyssa and Richard here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You can guess what this video is. It is our 21 and 22 week pregnancy update. Yay for updates. So we've been really bad about putting videos up between these updates like we said we would. Partly because we've been so busy and I just started a job and it's just life is just getting crazy right now. So we're trying to get more videos up. We apologize that it hasn't really happened. But we are continuing with our updates because we want you guys to be on track with where we are in our pregnancy and how baby Hicks is doing. Baby girl Hicks is doing. No. If you didn't know that, watch no. previous updates. You'll know. So let's go over the size of little girl right now. So at 21 weeks, baby girl Hicks was the size of a of like a large carrot, which this carrot that we found at the store, we couldn't find anything large. So it's not a baby carrot. Yeah, we but found it's not it's, the size of a baby, if that makes any yeah. sense. Yeah. So babe, for our blind viewers, explain kind of what how much bigger the carrot is than the one you're showing. So the one um, yeah, I don't know. You've seen the huge carrots on the crazy thing. This came in a bag, which is probably why they had to make it. I'd say, gosh, it's like big ones can almost be like 10 inches long, like a huge thing and really thick. Maybe it's not that big. <laughs> well, I feel like they're, they're not like as thick as like an apple, but like maybe one of those cuties tangerines. Like that's how thick the big carrots are. And then this long. is not that big. Yes, yeah, so this is like a smaller version, but it's still a good idea what baby was kind of like last week. But you guys, the real shocker is this week. Now, I don't know if that much growth took place between last, last week and this week. It did not. It did not. That's <laughs> why I think the carrot was much larger. Because this week, our little baby girl. It is, said this is how big it was. Yeah. This other. Is the size of a papaya, which I've never seen. This is the first time I've ever held a papaya in my arms. I've never seen one before. I used to work somewhere where we cut them. Yeah, so he knows all about papayas. I do not. So this is a papaya, for those of you who can see it. It looks for those... like a longer, skinnier melon. Yeah. With the skin, you're not supposed to really eat. But yeah. It's kind of like more like a mango. Yeah, yeah. Inside. Makes but sense. But it's really orange, so that's all it has in common with the carrot. And it's... Honestly, our baby's not as heavy as the papaya right now. Our baby actually weighs, as of this week, one pound. So this papaya, <laughs> pardon Richard while he has a snack. Um, That's what these videos are for, right? <laughs> what we're both doing to help the baby. <laughs> and he's just over there snacking. So this papaya is heavier than our baby actually is. So this is just based on size. Can they see it? Yeah, it's huge. Okay. It's not as heavy as this, but it's a pound, if, if that makes sense to you. So it's lighter it's than a, a pound. pound. The you baby's a pound. Baby is... Yeah, sorry. She is she... a pound. She! I'm still not used to it yet. I'm still getting used to it. We actually know. So she is one pound. So she's actually lighter than this, but the size, she's, I think they said like 27 centimeters long is what she is. So it's about this long. That's what the papaya is showing. So baby's growing oh my goodness it's just crazy i can't believe she weighs a pound already last week she was three quarters of a pound so she literally gained a quarter pound in one week that is pretty amazing so she is seriously growing and we are so excited and cannot wait what i broke oh i get a snack too nice it's a little crunchy we didn't wash it i can't eat it here it's in a bag it says I... oh organic that means it's dirty well i normally wouldn't care but when you're pregnant just a little tip for pregnant women here. Um, you want to wash thoroughly all fruits and vegetables that you buy because there can be bacteria that you don't know about that pregnant women are more susceptible to catching. Um, which I didn't know that until recently. So yeah, we're very careful about that. But anyway, well, my love oh. snacks. Uh, well, it does say wash before use. Babe, you're gonna get sick. It's <laughs> good for your immune system. You're not pregnant. I'm glad I caught that. He's probably fine. I would not be fine. Moving on, well, so. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't eat it. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't eat it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So next order of business is my weight. Did we already talk about this? Yeah, we did. We talked about the fact that I gained seven pounds in four weeks. So I, I don't know how much I am now. I'll find out in two weeks at my 24 week checkup. Um, I know baby weighs a pound, so I've probably gained a pound by now, or at least a quarter pound, but I was 146 as of 20 weeks, 
which I'm not used to the scale being above 140 for me. So this is new for me, but it's okay. It's it's okay. I'm, I'm glad the baby's growing, but I'm growing too. <laughs> so that's that. We will know in two more weeks if that has changed. I'm sure it has. And you got to do a fun glucose test. Oh, I don't even want to talk about You're that. You're going to drink pretty much like Sunny D on crack. Oh my gosh, that's so gross, you guys. So at my 24-week appointment, you guys will hear all about it in that update, but... Yeah, I have to drink something gross. Glucose test. It's so nasty. Mm. It's like I have the paper. Yeah, it's like so basically to test my blood the sugars. Drink bottle and see what happens. Ew. To test how your baby reacts to sugar. I don't want to think about it. She's to probably gonna it. kick a lot though. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's that's in a couple weeks, but we won't think about that right now. We'll think happy thoughts. So symptoms. Those are some kind of happy thoughts. Um, I will start off by saying, this is not necessarily a symptom of my body, but it is something baby is doing. She is kicking and moving around so much, you guys. So a symptom of being pregnant is bruising. bruising. Just kidding. No. You're not actually getting it's beat awesome. up yet. Okay, here's the thing. It may hurt more as time goes on, but right now, every time I feel her, I just feel so much joy. Like. And it's the kicks are strong enough now where I know that it's her. Like I know she's kicking. I'm not like, oh, was that the baby? And obviously, you guys know that it's been more clear now. But the most exciting part about this last couple of weeks is that my Richard here has been able to feel her move, which we did not expect. We we heard from someone. It yeah, was it would be like six or seven months along that he'd have to wait to feel I her. Feel like. I don't know. But I think we have a little active one because I'm five months pregnant. She does flips. Yes. He can feel her. Like, he puts his hand on my belly. He doesn't feel her every time because sometimes she'll do the thing where, which I heard this is common, where like she's kicking and I'm like, babe, hurry, she's kicking. <clears throat> and as soon Any as- Any other hand touches yep. the belly and she goes- <gasps> So as soon as he touches me, Something she stops. Else. Yep. And she, she would have just been like flipping and all of a sudden he touches her and she stops <laughs> and then he has to wait for her to kick again. So. Definitely there's been moments like that, but it's been exciting that he could feel her. I think he felt her for the first time right at the end of week 20, right at the beginning of week 21. Yeah. Um, when she kind of did a little jolt and he's like, whoa, what did you say it was like, babe? The first time ever you're like- I'm going to give people nightmares. Okay. It's like an alien that's just going- <laughs> Cause I'm like, there's something in there that's alive and has its own mind and it wants out. <laughs> think she wants out yet like at first I kept going that's not it that's not the baby that's that's just your stomach wiggling yeah you adjusting and your ribs poking but it was like I'm in here I'm like ah! <laughs> so <laughs> she was saying hello to her daddy uh, isn't that cute oh we're so excited you guys we're so blessed that we can feel her yes. and oh it's the best feeling like I love it what's been new actually this last week is every morning actually this has pretty much happened a little bit before but now it's really consistent where every morning when I wake up um, I always turn on my left side before waking up just because I like to end on that side I don't know why but my right side is not as comfortable so I turn on my left side before I wake up in the morning and I always feel her kicking for about 10 minutes she's just kind of like as I'm waking up she kicks and kicks and it's just the best thing ever to wake up to so I've been really just enjoying that so much and when I don't feel her for like an hour I'm like, babe, I don't feel her, is she okay? And he's like, oh my gosh, she's fine. But like, it's like such a relief every time I feel her when I haven't felt her for a couple hours. Maybe so. why she kicks so much in the morning is because she spends her whole night sleeping through <laughs> and then suddenly she's upside down and she goes, oh, what the heck, mom? And she starts smacking, she's like, turn back over. I don't know, but she really loves when I'm on good. my left side and she loves waking me up in the morning to that. So I just, I'm enjoying every moment with her so far and I know it's just gonna get better and more intense and awesome so we're excited about that and I will yes emphasize that I am officially five months pregnant I hit that mark a couple days ago so that's exciting so I can now say that ah, you guys it's crazy I'm already like midway through second trimester almost in the third I have a few more weeks that's crazy you guys this is going way too fast anyways other symptoms not really anything too different. Um, very, very sore hips, which kind of goes along with sciatic, but it's kind of starting to go to the side of my hips now where if I lay on my right side for too long or my left, any side for too long at night, 
it feels like I have a bruise and I have to move. I literally toss and turn every 15 minutes. I don't know if I said that last time, but I'm doing it even more now and I have to sleep with like a million pillows because I have to have a pillow between my legs, a pillow underneath me, a pillow to keep me from rolling on my back because that's not good for the baby. So it's just sleeping has gotten a lot more difficult. Um, I think it's the Lord. I think I've said this before, but he's preparing me for the sleepless nights when she comes because it's definitely been harder. Obviously I do sleep, but I wake up several times to turn and fix my pillows and adjust because I'm sore. And I wake up like literally feeling like I just worked out. Like my legs are sore, like my hips are sore, I everything. sleep like the dead, so yeah. I'm not there for any of this. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> He's just like snoring through it all. But yeah, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but I, it's so worth it. I would do anything for this little girl. So yeah, I'm still getting up once a night to uh, urinate, which is mm -hmm. fun. Um, but that's pretty much been since I got pregnant. It's been pretty much every night. So that's, I'm pretty much used to now. I've gotten better at going back to sleep after that, but it's just always constant. Yes. And if I don't get up, it hurts and I need to get up and I pay for it later. So those are pretty much symptoms that I've had this week. Nothing new really in the last couple weeks, you know, besides baby doing somersaults and gymnastics in there. Um, which has been fun, but let's just move on to cravings and aversions. So cravings, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I've kind of strayed away from the strawberries and sugar. I still like it, but it's not as much. So I'm telling you, my cravings change like every week. My newest craving this week actually has been a certain kind of salad. And I'm actually really excited. I'm going to have it tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here's what I do. I love this salad and usually I like it anyway, but right now it just tastes so much better for some reason. Oh, baby, you're crunching. You're hilarious. You're a loud carrot. <laughs> yeah. You're a loud carrot eater. Anyways. So the salad that I've been into is I buy like a... I eat loud uh, carrots. That's what they are. Yes. That's right. I'm a loud so, carrot. <laughs> you're funny. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> It probably gets on your nerves and your nerves, but not everyone's. You're adorable. And there's some dads out there. Yeah, he's already starting the dad, dad humor. Dad joke. Yes. Hmm. What was I saying? Oh, my salad. So I get this mix from Trader Joe's that has like spinach and kale and it's chard. Not and a, oh, of the... Yeah, it's like a green mix. Yeah, which I don't like chard and stuff, but mix. no. It's like just the leaves. And I don't like chard and kale, but it's good for you, so I eat it. But what I do is I put feta cheese, which I love. And it, yes, it is pasteurized, because they say when you're pregnant, you gotta avoid soft cheeses if they're unpasteurized. So you just gotta check the label, and if it's, if it's like feta or brie or blue cheese, and it says pasteurized milk, you're fine. So anyway, I have feta cheese, cranberries, candied pecans, what else do I put in it? Uh, uh, you used a weird dressing this time. Yeah, and I did like this pear yeah. dressing from Trader pear Joe's. So good, you guys. Like, I just love that sort of sweet salad with fruit and nuts in it. Oh, it's been my newest you thing. Say, um, uh, cranberries? Yes, I do dried cranberries and feta cheese, and um, I also like blue cheese. It's just amazing, you guys. I'm in love with this salad right now. <laughs> so that's been my newest craving. I still love cold drinks, cold fruit juices. I've liked those since I got pregnant and yeah, I still pomegranate. Yeah, I've been drinking like pomegranate juice, orange juice, apple juice, just all the juices. Still craving those like crazy, especially since it's getting warmer and becoming closer to summer. <sighs> so that's fun. Um, as far as aversions, you know, funny enough, I did have an aversion to yogurt, but I've actually I've had a couple of yogurts this week, so I've been better about new. that. Okay, yeah, my newest aversion, you guys, within the last week is mayonnaise, which obviously nobody eats mayonnaise plain anyway. <laughs> um, but oh, that was a visual. <laughs> that was really gross. <laughs> um, but here's the thing with mayonnaise. I actually really do enjoy it. Um, I forgot to mention on the craving side, I was craving a lot of lunch meat last week, which if you're pregnant, you'd be like, oh no. But you know, if you heat it up and get nitrate free, you're fine. So I did eat lunch meat and that's where I got on the mayonnaise thing because I would put mayonnaise in my sandwiches and it was great and fine and all of a sudden, um, I went to Chick-fil-A last week and had the Chick-fil-A sauce, which is made from mayonnaise. That was fine. Then that night I had a sandwich with mayonnaise in it and I think there was too much mayonnaise in it or something. And then Richard made a comment. What did you say, babe? <laughs> about, it was just something he said that made me not like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is made from eggs. So I'm like, I wonder if you can make mayonnaise from duck eggs. And then she just went, Sick. 
oh, I'm never going to Chick-fil-A again. I'm like, no. Yeah, I like wanted to stop eating my sandwich. I didn't want to ever go to Chick-fil-A again. So basically mayo right now is Which, out. So this is the Lord preparing you <laughs> how to deal with dad jokes. <laughs> I'm just like, no. <laughs> stop it. I hate everything. Yeah, so it's funny how one thing that your husband says can make you have an aversion to a food for a while. I don't know when I'll like mayonnaise again, but right now, ooh, it sounds horrible. So that's kind of been my newest aversion. Um, as far as anything else, pretty good. I mean, I can pretty much eat anything. You know, I like all things. Still trying to get used to protein smoothies. Still not quite there yet, which is so sad because that's like the best thing I could eat. But that's okay. We're doing good. You know what? I'm grateful, I'm blessed, we are both so excited to meet this little one, and I just, you know, we always say this, but thank you, thank you, thank you for following our journey, for watching these videos, for subscribing. If you have not, please do so if you're interested in learning more about our little bundle You'll coming. You'll see our weird little baby when they're born. Weird? She's gonna be beautiful! It's my kid. Ah, oh, she's gonna be breathtakingly gorgeous. I can't wait. Yes, and pretty weird. Well, maybe when she's Eventually. Born. Yeah, but like not when she's born. She'll be so precious. I can't wait to show you guys what she looks like. Oh what yeah, she sounds subscribe like. so you see all of that part. Yeah, we'd love to have you guys. We um, are, if you haven't noticed, a husband and wife. Um, I am totally blind. Richard is totally sighted. We just show how we live. And um, we're going to be doing probably more vlog style videos pretty soon. But it's just been hard right now just with life being crazy. But... You know further on in the pregnancy or when baby comes we'll we'll make sure we you know show more of our life but we just love sharing with you what we can and we are excited to get to know all you guys in the comments we appreciate all your comments that you guys have put on our videos i and have we... plans for the baby when we're vlogging and there's a baby you do yeah. well stay tuned for that i don't know what his plans are either so i guess i'll be in for it as well because usually we start the video the same way every time right yeah and there's a baby in Oh no. I guess we'll have to talk about this later. Anyways, <laughs> we hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and we'll see you guys in the next update after this belly shot. Bye. Bye. Okay, here's the belly shot for 22 weeks. I'm gonna pull down here and let you see the bare belly again, which I always am scared about, but it's okay. Can you see it? A little more. Some metal, oh, got metal it. Doilies. Okay, Richard's gonna show you. Your bump. Yeah, it's getting big, you guys. It's definitely getting it's way hard. It's pronounced. Yeah, it, I don't know. If, let me know in the comments if there's been a change from two weeks. I'm curious, or much of a change. But anyway, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.